Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to our God. Hallelujah. We give him praise for bringing us to this second Sunday of July 2022. Blessing be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you. No one else can touch our lives like you do. We can search through all eternity, Lord, and find there is no like you. Yes, there is no like our God. So we want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and the part of the world that you are watching us from. We are delighted to have you as part of our moment, as part of our hour this day, hallelujah. We thank God for bringing us, like I said, to the second Sunday of the month, the seventh month of the year 2022. Our God has been good and kind to us, and we just wanna give glory and honor and adoration unto his only name. Today, our theme is that the Lord has been our strength, hallelujah. Yes, he has been our strength. He has been our strength like no other. He keep on reaching out to us. Hallelujah. He has been our shield and our buckler. And before we go any further, we just want to go into the Lord in repentance. We want to say, oh Lord, our God, our Redeemer, Yahweh of Israel, our Savior, the forgiving Father, we come in openness of hearts to confess and repent of every sin that we may have committed, knowingly and unknowingly, intentionally and unintentionally, that may have bring and granted the enemy entrance, access to operate in our lives, in our homes, in our families, in our churches, community, our society, our land and nations. Oh, Lord, we come to you. We ask for forgiveness. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us that, that are leading, oh, Lord God, to death and destruction among your people all over the world. Father, today, we here at PHH, we are studying in the gap in repentance, Lord. We wage war in the spirit against the agenda of the enemy. Ramama to spread hatred, to spread bias, to spread envy, systemic racism, oppression, depression, anxiety envy, stress, war, and rumors of war. Ah, Father Lord, we engage the Holy Spirit to strengthen our hearts against the attack of the enemy, holding firm to our faith and trust in you, oh God. Father Lord, we cry out for the blood of Jesus to cleanse us, to deliver us, to speak into our lives, into our nation, into the people of God, into the people of the world that God withdraw. Oh, every man, every woman, every son and daughter unto himself in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, we release, oh Lord God, your Holy Spirit to do what only you can do in this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, we are loosing from the bondage of the enemy, oh Lord. And Father, Lord, we exalt your name above every other name in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are thankful to you for you are a loving and forgiving Father. We thank you for bring, being our strength, for being our present help, even in the time of need. Glory be to your holy name, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So Father, we declare that we are not fearful, for we know that you are with us. We are not this male, for you are our God. Oh, you said you will strengthen us, that you will help us, oh Lord God. You will hold us with your righteous right hand. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in the time of trouble. Those who know you, 
trust in you, O oh Lord. We at PHH, we trust in you, Lord God, for you and God that said you will never leave us nor forsake us. You never forsake those who put their trust in you. Our trust is in you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord is our strength, our song. You have given us victory from all sides, from every aspect of our life. And Father, we say hallelujah to your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Exodus 15 verse 2 says, the Lord is our strength and our defense. He has become our salvation. He is our God and we will praise him. Our Father God, we will exalt you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for being our strength when we were weak. You are the treasure that we seek, O oh Lord, and you are our all in all. Glory be to your holy name. Lord, we want to declare that you are our strength, that you are our comfort, you are our peace, O oh Lord God, and you are our all in all. At a time like this, Lord, we acknowledge you as our all in all. You have been our God in ages past and our hope for years to come. Hallelujah, glory be to your holy name. Lord, we declare that we are unstoppable for we are a force for good, hallelujah. Your word says in Philippians 4.3, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, hallelujah. We declare that our faith we renew our strength. Our strength is being magnified in you, Lord God, because we put our trust in you. For those who hope in the Lord, we renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagle. They will run, they will not grow weary. They will walk and they will not faint. Hallelujah. Father, we declare that our weaknesses are also our strength. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, you have said, my grace is sufficient for you. For his power is made perfect in our weaknesses. Therefore, we will boast all the more gladly about you, O oh Lord God, so that Christ's power may rest on us. For when we are weak, then we are strong. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. Oh, thank you, Father. We declare that you, you, that we will not be troubled by the troubles of this world. Father, Lord, you said in your word in John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Thank you for overcoming the world for us. And finally, Father, we declare that we submit to your will, to all the stands, oh Lord God, your total will for our life. We trust in you, Lord, with all our heart. We will not lean in our own understanding, but in all our ways, oh Lord, we will acknowledge you, and we know that you will direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So brethren, we welcome you to the powerhouse hour where we come together every Sunday between the hours of three to four U.S. Easter time. We are a voice trying to reach the end of the world with the good news of salvation as commanded by our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. We are an evangelical group of ordinary citizens of heaven who continually worship our God and speak of his goodness. We create a Holy Spirit soaking room experience that is non-religious, non-traditional, and non-conventional. It is not by accident that you are watching this broadcast at this time. It has been ordained by God, hallelujah. We know that as you fellowship in our midst today, that you will encounter God's presence in the most tangible way. Please subscribe to our social media, our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and our own website, phhworld.com. Also, please partner with us in this journey. We would like you to share our brokers to your friends and family. And may God Almighty richly bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. 
Alléluia. Merci Papa. Alléluia. Thank you Jesus. Alléluia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alléluia. For all you have done. For all you are doing, and for all you are yet to do, we say thank you. For all you have done, For all you are doing, and for all you are yes to do, we say thank you. For all you have done. For all you are doing, for all you are yet to do, we say thank you. Psalm 18, 1 to 3, verses and verses 49 to 50. I love the Lord. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock. Hallelujah. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield the power that saves me in my place of safety. Hallelujah. I call on the Lord who is worthy of praise and he saved me from my enemies. Hallelujah. <laughs> Psalm 40, 49 says, For this, O Lord, I will praise you among the nations. I will sing to your name. You give great victories to your king. You show unfailing love to your anointed, to David and all his descendants forever and ever. I don't know what's going on. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are my strength when I was weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my only all. Taking you as a precious juice. Lord, to give up, I'll be a fool. You are, you are, you are my only all. Jesus, Lamb of God, what is your name? Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy, worthy, worthy is your name. You are my strength, where I've been weak. You've been the treasure that I have seen. Father, you are my, you are my, you are my all, all, 
all. You are my strength. You are my strength like no other. Strength like no other. You reach out to me. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reach out to me. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you've lifted me up. You lift me up. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you've lifted him up. You lift me up. You lift me up, oh Lord, you are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, you've reached out to me. There's no one like my God. All the earth is singing, Lord, you are greater. You are greater. There's no one like my God. All the earth is singing, Lord, you are greater. You are, you are, Lord, you are greater. You are, you are, Lord, you are greater. Father, you are, Lord, you've been greater. God, my strength. God, my Savior, God, my walk, yours forever is a glory, the honor and power. God, my shield. God, my shelter, God, my hope, yours forever is a Lord, you are greater. Lord, you are greater. Hallelujah. Father, you are greater than the greatest and higher than the highest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So I was the one with all the glory. 
Why you are the one with all the strength. A beautiful face without a name. A beautiful smile to hide my pain. You are the one with all the glory. Why you are the one with all the strength. You are a beautiful face without a name for so long. A beautiful face where I can hide my pain. Did you ever know that you've been my hero? And everything, everything, everything that I wish I could be. I can fly higher than an eagle. For you've been the wind beneath my wings. Jesus. You've been the wind beneath my wings. Messiah, you've been the wind beneath my wings. Elohim, you've been the wind beneath my wings. Nobody greater. Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. In my life, Lord, I'd be a church. Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Search all over. Couldn't find nobody. And I've looked high and I've looked low. I still can't find nobody. There's nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. No one can heal. Like you do, oh, most only one, you are the great I am. Awesome in all your ways, mighty is your hand. You are here who carried out with them some plans. You are here who carry without redemption plans. I've searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. And I have looked high and low. Still there is nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Hallelujah. Father, there's no one as great as you are. And no one can compare to you. There's no one, almighty God, in the all wide world who has almighty God the characteristics that you, our Lord, that you are? That's why we say nobody greater in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So to oh God, I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I, I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God 
and I will praise him. My father, my king, and I will exalt him. Hallelujah. Father, you have been my strength. The wind beneath my wings. You have been a strong tower, a constant helper, my dependable go-to person. You are dependable in all your ways, always there, always willing, always available. You shield my weaknesses and you turn them into strength. My heart trusts in you. You go before me, always on my side, never leaving or forsaking me. You are my hope. You are my fortress. My shield and my buckler in times of trouble and need. You are the lifter of my head. You are the alabaster oil that duplicates me against the rough edges of life. You show me the path of life. In your presence, I am bold. I am confident. In your presence, I find favor, fullness of joy and peace. You are my defender against all odds. Your outstretched arm protects and covers me. You are my confidence, my confidence booster, my encourager, and my cheerleader. Thank you for making me look good against all odds. If it has not been for you on my side, on PHH side, where would be? Where would I be? Thank you, Lord my hero and a place of solace for me to hide. Thank you, Papa. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are my strength when I'm weak. Thank you, Lord, because you are my God. There is no one that can ever be like you. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Rose of Sharon, the Lion of Judah. You are the that I have. You are the sin for me. You are the God who is seated in heaven and the earth is your footstool. Your glory, Daddy, you will never share with anyone. Father, forever and ever, you will continually be God. Even when the world will cease to be, you will still be God. You are my comforter. You are my defender. You are my father. You are my mother. You are my sister them oh lord no one can ever be like you father you are my provider father lord you are my holy lord my sustainer my lover my companion father lord there is no one that can ever be like you that i bow to your messiahship oh god i bow to your kingship oh god i bow to your lordship because forever and ever you will continually be god no one like you lord nobody greater than my god father i just worship you because of who you are thank you for loving me oh father thank you hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, my, my strength. My strength like no other, always reaching out to me. Hallelujah. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my God, my Redeemer. You are my forgiving Father. You are my strength. You are my cornerstone and always rest in you. I can always depend on you. And I know that you are always there for me. You are my rock. Oh, you are the great I am. You are my physician. The great physician. The God that healeth me. The God that brings joy into my sadness. Hallelujah. You are my refuge. You are my rock. My defense. My high priest. You are sanctuary hallelujah you are my advocate my love my love that shines brighter and brighter in darkness you are my porter you are my alpha and my omega the god that knows my hand even from the beginning the god that leaves me daily the god that directs my path. you are the author and the finisher of my faith glory be to 
your holy name, Lord. You are my best friend. You are my father. You are my mother. You are my sibling. You are my everything. Hallelujah. Glory be to your holy name. My refuge, my provider, my strength, my defense, my protector, my peace, my joy, my comforter, my life. All in all, my everything. Glory be to your holy name, God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, you are the one that quenches the thirst of your people. You are strong. You give food to the hungry. You are strong. Hallelujah. You open rivers on the barren heights and fountains in the middle of the valleys. You are strong. You turn desert into pool of water. You are strong. Hallelujah. With you, the dry land turn into flowing springs. You are strong. You plant cedars in the wilderness. You are strong. You make the barren woman mother of many. You are strong. Hallelujah. You open prison doors, hallelujah. You are strong. You set the captives free. You are strong, hallelujah. When you open a door, it is open. When you shut the door, it is shut. You are strong, hallelujah. You cure incurable diseases. You are strong. You make the dead come alive again. You are strong. Hallelujah. Creator of all things. You are strong. The lion of the tribe of Judah. You are strong. My Shiloh. My ark of the covenant. My place of refuge, you are strong. Hallelujah. We bless you. The manna falling from heaven, you are strong. The ruler above all powers, principalities, wickedness in high places, you are strong. Hallelujah. You make a way where there seems to be no way. You are strong, hallelujah, my friend, my helper, my constant companion. You are strong, hallelujah, the one who divided the Red Sea in two and caused your children to walk on dry ground. You are strong, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, powerhouse power, Natalie, you are strong. To you be all honor. To you be all glory. To you be all praise. You are the name changer, the game changer, the giant slayer, the mountain mover, the sea divider. You leave 99 to come after me. The one who finds and restores all that was lost. My battle acts, the name above all names, marvelous, gracious, glorious, victorious king, the one who has no rival, the one who has no equal, the one who changed my name and gave me a new life and a purpose, my righteousness, my justice, my victory, my alabaster box, my sweet perfume of great value. Yes, that's who you are. The enemy silencer, you are strong. The one who crushed the head of the serpent, you are strong. The giver of grace, the keeper of promises, the joy giver, you are strong. You are powerful and we worship you and we give you praise. Hallelujah to your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me in the fullness of your grace. In the power of your name, you lift me up. You lift me up. Thank you, Lord. You are my strength. Hallelujah. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. Hallelujah. Friends, today we present this Jesus that we've been speaking about, this Jesus that we're singing about. We want to present him unto you as our strength. Yes, he is our strength. Hallelujah. We will not be able to do what we're doing right now. We will not be able, hallelujah, to gather on this line and broadcast today if it has not been for the strength of our God. Hallelujah. Today, we want to go over this text. And I'm sure you have heard about David and Goliath. It's a very uh, beloved story in the Bible that everyone has heard about. Amen. And in 1 Samuel 17, 4, it says, then Goliath, a Philistine champion from God, came out of the Philistine ranks to face the forces of Israel. He was over nine feet tall. He wore a bronze helmet and his bronze coat of mail weighted 125 pounds. He also wore bronze leg armor and he carried a bronze javelin on his shoulder. The shaft of his spear was as heavy and thick as a weaver's beam, tipped with an iron spearhead that weighed 15 pounds. His armor bearer walked ahead of him carrying a shield. Friends, if we are honest with ourselves, we have a Goliath in our lives, in our family, our jobs, school, our cities, our nation. The Goliath in our lives may be as impressive as the one that David faced. Tall, big, strong, with heavy weaponry. Goliath looked undefeatable to the eyes of humans. He looked unshakable. However, there is one greater, the God of Israel, the God of David, the true champion in the fight, the one who won over sin, the grave, and hell. His name is Jesus. Verse 8 tells us, Goliath stood and shouted a taunt across to the Israelite. Why are you all coming out to fight? He called. I am the Philistine champion, but you are only the servants of Saul. Choose one man to come down here and fight me. Don't worry about this Philistine, David told Saul. I'll go fight him. And Saul answered, don't be ridiculous. There's no way you can fight this Philistine and possibly win. You're only a boy. And he's been a man of war since his youth. Friends, 
we have weaknesses in our lives that may make us feel like we are unfit to fight Goliath. David was young. He was not a soldier in the military. He did not have an armor. He did not have all the weapons that Goliath had. But friends, God has the, uh, God has the habit of using people who seemingly look unprepared or unfit to be used by him so that when the victory happens, he alone will get the glory. Hallelujah. David was a shepherd. He was not a fighter, but God chose him to display his glory, his strength, his power, and we pray that he will do the same in your life, in Jesus' name. And so, friends, what is limiting you today from achieving victory over Goliath in your life? Goliath can be sickness. Goliath can be disappointment, unforgiveness, sin, injustice, past heartaches. What are your weaknesses? Today, bring them before the God of David and exchange them for his strength. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you. God is my refuge and my strength, my ever-present and therefore, though the earth remove, I will not be afraid. Though hills are things, the seas be cast, though foaming water roll. Yet though the mighty below shake the mountains on the shore, be still and know that I am God. Oh, let so the subject nations of the earth, my name shall magnify the Lord of hosts is on my side, my safety to secure. The God of Jacob is for me a refuge strong and sure. Hallelujah. The God of Jacob, yes, he is my refuge. He keeps me safe. He keeps me secure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, and he wants to do the same for you. Only if you will believe, only if you will surrender your life unto him. And going back to the text, verse 37. So Saul finally consented. All right, go ahead, he said to David, and may the Lord be with you. Then Saul gave David his own armor, a bronze hem helmet, and a coat of mail. David put it on, strapped the sword over it, and took a step or two to see what it was like, for he had never worn such things before. I can't go in this, he protested to Saul. I am not used to them. So David took them off again. He picked up five small stones from a stream and put them into his shepherd's bag. Then arm only 
with his shepherd's staff and sling, he started across the valley to fight the Philistine. Hallelujah. David had a personal relationship with God, my friends. And he knew that victory could not be achieved, pretending to be somebody else. God does not call you and I to be like other people, but he made us unique, a masterpiece. Hallelujah. And even in our battles, even in our fights, we win differently. Hallelujah. There's a strategy for your fight that is not comparable to your neighbors or your friends. And this is where relationship comes into play. You have to know this God for yourself, not just the God of your mother, not just the God of your father, not just the God of the pastor, not just the God of the priest, no, your own God. Hallelujah. And so today we pray for you, that you will surrender to God, that you will develop an intimacy with him, that he can speak to you personally and show you how to slay the Goliath that is taunting you, how to slay the Goliath that is intimidating you in Jesus' name. We pray that God will reveal to you the right weapon to use to achieve victory over the giants in your life in Jesus' name. We pray that you will let go of Saul's armor, that you will let go of the armor of your friends, of your family, of your pastor, of, of, of your neighbors, that instead you will put on the armor of God, who is Jesus Christ, hallelujah to his holy name. God's instruction for David was to pick up stones and a sling to, de to defeat Goliath. This instruction looks foolish to, to all who were watching the battle. How can small stones from the ground be able to defeat a giant that was nine feet tall. How can that be possible? But friends, this is where the God factor comes in. That which is impossible to man is possible to my God. Hallelujah. What is foolish for man is powerful in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. The strength was not in the stone, no. The strength was in the obedience to use stones instead of Saul's armor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The nations rage, the kingdoms move, but when his voice was heard, the troubled earth was still to peace before his mighty Word. The Lord of hosts is on my side, my safety to secure. The God of Jacob is for me a refuge. Strong and strong. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Papa, for your word. Hallelujah. And David went facing Goliath. And these are the words that he spoke. You come to me with sword, spear, javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied today. 
the Lord will conquer you and I will kill you and cut off your head. Hallelujah. And everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescues his people, but not with sword and spears. Oh no, this is the Lord's battle and he will give you to us. Friends, there's an invitation extended to you today. We are here to give you a foolish instruction from our Heavenly Father. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Son of God. Believe in your heart that he died for you personally 2,000 years ago so that your sins are forgiven, so that your soul is saved. Yes, this is the instruction for every man, every woman on the face of the planet. Surrender to Jesus. Give your life to him today and receive his power. Receive his strength to defeat every Goliath that comes against you. Today, the Goliath in your life will fall in Jesus' name. As you answer this call of God and invite Jesus into your heart, into your life, get ready to see victory on all sides, on the left, on the right, before you, behind you, above you, and beneath you in Jesus' name. And so friends, if your answer is yes, that you want to make room for this God of Goliath, with this God of David, this God that defeated Goliath, hallelujah, then repeat this word after me. Just say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for your personal invitation to me today. And my answer is yes. Come into my life. Be my personal Lord and Savior. Give me the strength that you gave to David, that he was able to defeat this giant. Oh, Lord, come into my life and help me to defeat all the giants coming against me. Oh, Holy Spirit, come and teach me how to be a son, how to be a daughter of the Most High God. And from this day forward, I choose to call you my God, my Savior, and my Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and amen. And friends, if you have prayed this prayer, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the kingdom everlasting, the kingdom eternal. Hallelujah. You have now many brothers and sisters all around the world. And we pray that you will find a Bible teaching church in your community, that you will be connected. Hallelujah. We pray for a thirst and a hunger for the things of God in your life. Hallelujah. Please find that church quickly in your community. Be connected. Hallelujah. As for information, what are the next steps in your journey with Jesus? I'm sure there are discipleship courses that you can take and be baptized in water. Hallelujah. To signify to the world that you are now walking with Jesus Christ. Amen. And please follow us on all of our social media. You can contact us on our webpage. It's phsworld.com and tell us that you have made a decision for Christ today. Hallelujah. And go in the power and the strength of our God. Hallelujah. As you have invited Jesus into your life, he will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He will fight every giant. Hallelujah in your life and grant you victory on all sides in Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus what a friend we have in Jesus awesome awesome is he hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Lord Papa we thank you 
for your sons and daughters coming home. Father, receive them. Father, protect them. Father, let this seed grow and grow and grow. Hallelujah. And make them stronger and stronger every day of their lives. Hallelujah. And just in the image of King David, that they will go winning victory upon victory upon victory. Hallelujah. May, may the, the darkness tremble. Hallelujah. At the sound of their name, that they will know that truly there's a son, there's a daughter of the Most High God here. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Thank God for that. What our God is faithful. The Bible says is our strength like no other. The Bible says that he became weak so that we may be strong. I like from what our sister just said. She said that David said, I come to you. You know, that is the confidence because David know that my God will fight for me. My God is my strength. You may be looking at me as small as I am, but I've got a God, that confidence. And so that is why we, we are extending that to you as well, so that you can have that confidence in God. I know that only him can do that which only him alone can do is your strength. So if you've accepted Jesus, we want to say welcome. The Lord bless you and keep you and sustain you in this journey that you've accepted in the name of Jesus. And we'll also like to invite you next week is going to be our second year anniversary. The Lord indeed has been our strength. If it has not been God, what will our song be? But we thank God for his faithfulness. We thank God because even when we were weak, the Lord was there keeping us and strengthening us. So it's going to be a special program next week. But it will be starting at 2 p.m. U.S. time. So U.S. time, 2 p.m. We will come together and have a wonderful time in the presence of God. There will be a lot of fun. There will be a lot of activities. So you'll be able to see that indeed our God is good. So it's going to be a celebration. And we're inviting you for that. 2 p.m. U.S. time. We pray that you can join us and see how we enjoy the presence of God. Hallelujah. So we just want to thank God for his faithfulness. Indeed, our God has been awesome. We never do anything without returning all the glory to him because he's the only God that is faithful, is worthy of our adoration. And we thank him because we don't take that for granted. Hallelujah. We just bless you, Jesus. We give you praise. Awesome God. As I come into your presence, Pass the gate of praise into your sanctuary till I stand in face to face. I look upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace. I can wholly bow down and say, and say, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You've been awesome, you are awesome in this place, as a father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our life we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. He's been awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. He's been so awesome. He's our strength like no other. You are worthy of our praise. To you are like we raise. You are awesome in this place. Almighty God. You are awesome in this place. Almighty God. You have been awesome in this place. Almighty God, you've been awesome in this place, Almighty God. We just want to pray that as we all go for this week, that the presence of God will go with us. 
He will go before us. He will be by us and he will come after us. The Lord will make his face to shine upon us all and give us peace. He will be our strength. He will fight our battle in the name of Jesus. We just bless him. The name of God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining today. We really do appreciate it. Whatever channel that you've joined, we want to say thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Please make it a date to celebrate with us. Indeed, our God has been awesome. Indeed, he's been our strength. Indeed, he's been our all in all. Without him, we are nobody. So we're just coming next week to celebrate and we we'll pray that you'll be able to celebrate with us. You go forward and do exploit, knowing that Lord is your strength. Be confident in him, in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, everybody. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.